Okay, I wanted to show you some accessibility options that work with Lessons Online. So I've got a plugin called Google Read and Write that I can activate using a key a keyword. And with this, I can use it for reading the text on the main explore page. So let me show you an example. So this is a hover speech. Taking care of Earth. What can we do to protect Earth? Read this story and share it with friends. Find words related to ways we can help planet Earth be healthier in this word soup. Brainstorm with friends different ways you can help. After, scavenger hunt for friends who are already helping Earth. Additional resources below. So that's a like a simple example, it just reads any text that's on any web page. And if I play this example. Taking care of Earth. Of course, our videos also have closed captions. Our home. Earth is our home. When Earth is clean and healthy, people are healthy. Plants and animals are healthy too. So those are just some options. And of course, if you want, inside this description of the lesson, the same reading tools work. So... What can we do to protect Earth? Read this story and share it with friends. So that's, that's one example. Um, it also works with a picture dictionary so I can open up a picture dictionary and I can choose like a word earth and I'll find pictures that are related to it uh, so friends or planet um, and it will just like it'll automatically search for for things related to it so it might help uh, with different types of, of, of reading or learning so there's a couple different options and tools that are useful here um, it also can help with writing and playing and recording uh, those are all features that are built into into this tool. We also have a couple other options that are built into Snowflake Lessons. So let me show you what that looks like now. So if I go in here to My Lessons. We have uh, an example. Let's try this, I don't know, literary genres. And then from here, um, each one of these has a has a uh, has a little bit of speech, but it only appears if you get the the answer right. So you speech see if wrong, then it does that. Biography. And I recorded all these with my voice using what's built into Lessons Online. So if I go and edit this lesson, you'll see that I have a sound recorded for each one. So if I wanted to record a new one, say this historical fiction, historical fiction, and I can play it back, historical fiction. And so that makes it really easy. It takes almost no time to add voice into your lesson. And that's one of the goals is just to make everything a lot more accessible. So that's my example of some of the accessibility possibilities with Lessons Online.